Hey everybody, just sending out our weekly update and uh, Devo for Sunday. So uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, it's good that we could just catch up this way and I can send out some information. So I'm sure, first of all, you're probably wondering about last week and what's happening this Sunday and all those sorts of things. Let me give you a, a, an update. Of course, uh, we sent out the video just saying we were going to meet. The elders had met and we'd worked through it and we're feeling good about gathering together. You know, we were here on Saturday night and Saturday night was incredibly encouraging during our week of prayer and people just praying for our church and everything. I went home on Saturday night feeling great, looking forward to Sunday, knowing that these were bold steps that we were taking, but feeling that God was leading that way. And then you know what happened? I got up on Sunday morning and my scheduled quiet time reading was in Romans 13. I didn't see that coming. And I was feeling turmoil and I talked to my wife and she was feeling turmoil. And then I started checking in with some of their leaders and uh, the leaders and we were all feeling turmoil. And I just, we just sensed, hey, God's speaking in the midst of this. And one of the things that we had said with regards to our leadership was, hey, unprecedented times, we're willing to do unprecedented things. And we can pull the pin right up to the 11th hour sort of thing. And so, you know, just Sunday morning as we were here and preparing, uh, we didn't have hearts at peace and made that decision. And then, you know, that, um, that lack of peace just lifted. And so I just really sensed that God's hand was in the decisions that we made and uh, that that was a learning experience for us. And I was really thankful for our leaders because our leaders counted the cost and were willing to be obedient to the Lord no matter what it might cost us. And I think the day might come when we'll be making that decision again. So... Anyways, for now, what we're going to do is go back to CTK at home, okay? So we're going to be live streaming at 9.30, and then uh, the service will be replayed at 11 a.m. So if you'd like to sleep in and watch at 11, you can still do that, um, and it'll be on Facebook. Now, I will mention this, because we're going to upload the 9.30 service, um, YouTube will probably be lagging a little bit behind. So if you hop on there at 11, hoping to watch YouTube, it might not be there. Just go to Facebook. You'll be able to watch it there or a little bit later in the day on YouTube. Okay. So I'll mention that. Uh, so going forward, Hey, look, this, the current government orders end on December 7th. So we are aiming for December 13th to be back together in this place, worshiping with the numbers at 50 again and two services and all those things. So what I would just ask is that you'd be praying for us, that you'd be praying for the elders of the church. We're going to be meeting over the next couple of weeks and discussing these things and coming up with our game plan and where we feel the Lord is leading our church. And so we just covet your prayers, encourage you to be praying for us. And with that mention, like we are continuing uh, what was started as two weeks of prayer uh, we extended it for two more weeks. We're going to be here every night at 7 p.m. Uh, just gathering to pray. And we felt a yes from the Lord on that. And we've had a sweet time this week. We'll be here tomorrow night on Saturday and Sunday night and through all the way through to December 7th. Okay, so we're gathering here at 7 o'clock for prayer. And uh, what else I want to mention here? I'm going to just take you right to the book of Gideon because we're going to pick up the story of Gideon. On Sunday, we'll be back in the book of Judges, and it's the first Sunday of Advent, by the way. But we're going to be in the book of Judges, and we're going to take a peek at the story of Gideon, wrap up chapter 6, and dive in to chapter 7, when uh, Gideon goes to battle against the Midianites and defeats them. Now, it's an amazing story. Gideon's a, a flawed character. We've seen this already about this guy. And one of the things uh, the Lord tells him is this, is that once... Gideon, the Lord whittles down his army from 32,000 men to just 300. And uh, Gideon naturally is nervous. There's a battle coming. There's a battle that he's going to be a part of and that God has called him to be a part of and to call these people to be a part of. And so the Lord speaks to Gideon and tells him essentially this, Gideon, if you're unsure, here's what I want you to do. Take one of your men sneak under the cover of darkness into the camp of the Midianites and just let's see what you see. So guess what? Gideon does that. Him and his buddy, they sneak into the camp of the Midianites and they get up to the edge of one of the tent and they hear two Midianite soldiers speaking. And the one soldier says to the other soldier, I had a dream. And the guy says, well, what was it? 
He said, I had a dream that a loaf of bread rolled into our camp, hit our tent, turned it over, and we all fled. And the soldier who hears it says, this can be none other than Gideon and his army. The Lord's going to defeat us. We're in trouble. Now, it's like a funny dream. Like, who ever heard of a loaf of bread rolling into a camp and people getting defeated? Like, there can't be anything less harmless than a loaf of bread. You know, it's just good for peanut butter and jam in the morning. There's no threat in a loaf of bread. And it's interesting that this is like the picture that's given. And Gideon knew this, that God was going to give them victory. And, and it's this picture of this loaf of bread. It's something that's, it's, it's not going to be by Gideon's might. It's not going to be by his strength. It's not going to be his power. This is the battle of the Lord. And, and this picture of a loaf of bread is, is a picture of humility. It makes me think just of what the New Testament tells us, that Jesus said, man shall not live on bread alone, but every, but every word of God, that, or every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And here's this picture for Gideon. It's like, it seems simple, just a loaf of bread. But God's going to work. And God is going to defeat the enemy. And it was a source of encouragement for Gideon that it wasn't his might. It wasn't his strength, as the scripture tells us. Not by might, nor by strength, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And for us, church, look at here's the truth. It's not many of us mighty, not many noble. We're, we're the weak things of the world that God has chosen. The foolish things of this world to shame the wise. Man, we're harmless like a loaf of bread. But the God whom we serve is mighty, and he can defeat any enemy. And so we're going to dive into the story of Gideon tomorrow. I hope uh, you'll be able to join us. So 9.30 online or 11 o'clock, and uh, be praying for us. We love you guys. We're praying for you, praying for our church, praying for God's guidance and direction. And uh, I'm thankful that, that we have a church that just desires to be obedient to the Lord, to go wherever he tells us to do, whatever it costs, whatever it is. So God bless you. Uh, we'll see you Sunday.